Blog Talk Radio. Do you ever stop to wonder if people really knew the truth about what was going on in the world? If they would be any different? Because quite frankly, Normal abandoned me a long time ago. My name is Dakota Francis. I am the specialist of the strange and fucked up. You'll never see the world the same way once you stick with me. Nothing is off limits. And you'll never know what world I'll be coming from for each episode. Listen in. And wait for your world to be changed forever. Dun, dun, dun. Hey everybody, this is Dick Carr France and I am the specialist of the strange and fucked up and welcome to my radio show. This is a brand new broadcast, this is our first official episode. If you've been stalking my social media pages long enough, you've seen I did a test broadcast earlier this week. This is also technically another test broadcast, I'm still learning all the kinks to our new setup here. So... If it sounds horrible, don't blame it on me. <laughs> All right, so it is being crazy with this Kavanaka or whatever the fuck his name is pronounced. Trying to get into Supreme Court and all these sexual assault allegations and President Trump being President Trump. Woo, it seems like what a world we live in, don't you? It just seems like the world is going crazy. But that's not exactly the truth. So, being that this is the first official broadcast, you're probably wondering, what the hell is this idiot talking about instead of just rambling on like a ningum poop? Well, I'll tell you, this show, this is going to cover all sorts of fun shit. For now, it's only going to be about half hour long. This might not last that long, being that it's the first episode and blah, 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 blah. So I just wanted to cover a few things. This show has kind of a newsletter for some of my own pursuits. Yeah, so what? It's my show. Get with it. We'll have special topics every now and then. Maybe give out a few shout-outs to some charitable causes, some movies being made. I should not tell you all the secrets. (laughs) Then we'll just give some commentary on just what's going on in the world. Or if some, maybe if I've decided to do something a little special because it's close to a holiday or something. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. So let's do this. Being that this is hosted originally on Blog Talk Radio, I am hoping, hoping being the key word here, that the setup to get everything linked up to my social media, to my YouTube, to Spreaker, to YouTube, to Google Play, to iTunes, and all of that shit all together works. Like I said, be nice. If this looks horrible, I am sorry, sorry. I am working on it. Give me time. <laughs> oh, sorry. But I had an interruption. You never know anymore. That being the case, depending on what the show might be, I might even announce the phone number you can actually call into the show and giving your two cents. But we're not going to do that tonight. I'm keeping this on the download just in case I totally fuck this up. So I'm hoping everything's going well. Also, I want to announce that one of my movies has been released on Amazon and iTunes today. It is called Nana. It is a Holocaust. It is a documentary 
about a Holocaust survivor. It's, check it out. It is actually a really emotional story. It is available on Amazon and iTunes. Just type in Nana Documentary. It is directed by Serena Dachman. I would have an update on my website, dakotafranson.com, but the service I am using is uh, not being agreeing, so we're switching to someone else. So you might see a few things change there. So just to give you a heads up, okay? Okay. You on the same page? On the same page. You understanding a word I'm saying? Maybe. I hope. But just so this show can actually have some content, I wanted to throw down my two thoughts on this so-called war on women. Yeah, so many people trying to claim that Republicans are declaring war on women. They give their people rights. And just, just no. hold on. Quite frankly, I'm going to have to agree with Donald Trump on some of this. Some of this. Hear me out before you bust out the pitchforks and torches, you idiots. Because it seems like nobody's actually fucking listening to each other's what is going on with each other actually going on. They're only trying to find details to include in their own nice little world to make sure that their own nice little perfect world stays perfect and people obey how they decide the world works. Guess what, you idiots? The world doesn't exactly work like that. Now, I'm going to say it. With this Kavanaugh sexual assault allegations, I do unfortunately see things kind of clearly on both sides. On the one, this is something where if it happens, if a situation like this happens, it needs to be dealt with immediately. Not 30 years later when the SOB, that son of a bitch, you know what, fuck it, I'm not even going to watch my language on this show. Kids, if you're watching, just be nice to each other. Okay, knock it off with the bullying. Okay, back on the subject. I am not saying this to try to be an asshole. I'm saying for those who have experienced sexual assault, not just women, that needs to be something that comes out immediately. Immediately. And yes, I am well aware of how much this shit gets pushed under the rug. I have unfortunately... I had some close family and some close friends who dealt with this situation, and unfortunately, justice was not served on their behalf. <laughs> Excuse me. Either because they were afraid to say something, anybody, or when they did speak up, they got treated like it wasn't a big deal. I will agree that this is a serious situation. And something needs to be done. And the fact that people are speaking up now says a lot. But we need to set an example. Things like this need to be brought up as soon as freaking possible. Now, you can try to claim a war on women and all that. Chances are a lot of these idiots are trying to shut it down are either guilty of allowing it to happen, being the perpetrator themselves, or number three, they are legitimately brain dead idiots. And of course, we all starting to toss these fight words like this war on women and granted, ladies. You deserve equal rights. Should have been done a long time ago. But the truth is, you're dealing with prejudice that have existed for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. This is not going to be a fight that's going to happen overnight just because you start screaming. 
You need to fight. And for God's sakes, don't bash out all guys because of some assholes. That are some of us. And I am putting this out to my lady friends. Nothing sexual going on with them. I swear, putting this out to anybody. Or even if you're just in my area. Yeah. Those idiots might try to claim that you're reaching out to another guy. You find yourself, oh, you got yourself a little protector. Huh? They're just trying to be intimidating. But yet, really, when you look at it, people that try to dig into each other like that, try to dig into others, try to make them feel shitty, feel, make them feel scared, usually have pretty big shortcomings, if you know what I mean. And no, I'm not trying to say their dick is small. Maybe that's the case in some, with some of them. I don't know. I'd rather not look at any dicks but my own. <laughs> yes, I just said that. What of it? But nevertheless, I'll be honest. Some of these stories, it I've sat down with many of these victims, and some of them have reached out to me just to get it off their chest to say something happened and somehow they saw me as someone who was not going to either make it worse or wasn't going to judge them. And hearing some of these stories, it honestly breaks my heart. And of course, I tend to become the overprotective alpha male. Oh, oh. Must protect my women. Must protect my ladies. Yeah, trust me, that that's got me into some trouble, but I honestly don't regret it. The truth is, if we're going to want equality, and this isn't just for women's rights, it's for people of color, all of this. I mean, for fuck's sake. I can't remember the name now, but what was that actress from Star Wars? I think she was... Per- in Rogue One, who basically dropped out of social media completely because of hate comments, just because she was Asian. I mean, what the fuck is up with that? These type of prejudices, it's weird. And unfortunately, research has been done to show that people who exhibit different traits to trigger increased heart rate, increased blood pressure. Basically, they trigger flight or fight responses. Now, granted, say some of my lady friends, include one I was just having a lovely conversation with earlier this evening. Buttons, if you hear this, hi, love you. (laughs) Some of them are about more than a foot shorter than me. And I'll admit it, I'm a big guy. I'm six foot seven, roughly 350 pounds last time I checked. Big, bald, and tre- tend to dress up like an old school mobster. Big trench coat and everything. One of my old friends said I should be carrying around a Tommy gun and have a cigar in my mouth just with the complete the fucking look. I know I can be intimidating. And there's been several people with me growing up who tried to instigate fights just because I was a lot bigger. And there was no real point behind it. They just felt inadequate because of my size, and they were more than a foot smaller than me. And it is some of the most idiotic choices someone can make. Honestly, feel intimidated just because someone might be black or Asian or you don't want to make fun of them or any of that. You're probably one of the most pathetic human beings alive. Oh, no, Dakota, you're boring. You can't be saying that. I'm saying it. Because quite frankly, this culture that we have of trying to 
not hurt anybody's feelings. It's going way too far. Yes, bullying can be a messed up situation. Yes, it can lead to some. It has led and continues to lead many children, many people in general, down some dark paths that might end up with them trying to commit suicide if not actually pulling it off. But we need debate. You're going to have differences in this world, differences of opinion. Maybe you're not aware of something. And quite frankly, I'll admit, I I like to think I'm a smart guy, but I know I'm not the smartest person out there. I know that there's probably a lot of stuff that I'm not aware of. And if I happen to come across it, I try to do my best to learn more about it. Because honestly, me, I like to learn. I like to go out into the world, explore new things. And it's always been kind of a bucket list out of mine to discover something completely new. You know, leave my mark on history. And unfortunately, we don't have a lot of people that don't just sit down and try to understand. Quite frankly. And this whole, like, when it comes to race, this whole can't see color, don't see color line that people try to use. That's stupid. Because if I'm not mistaken, if you can only see in black and white, you can still tell the, that someone is a little darker complected. And for fuck's sake, they just happen to look different. That's a, that's all I do. Like, I don't try to memorize every face, but if there is something unique about that person, they might tend to stick. I'm not trying to judge them. I don't think of them any different. If they're just minding their own business, trying to go about their day, all right. That's all I'm trying to do. Now, why am I bouncing around on this? Because honestly, I feel that a lot of these allegations, a lot of these frustrations come with double, are labeled under double standards by people that are just not trying to What's the word here? Basically, nobody's just sitting around trying to actually understand what's going on. They're trying to prove themselves right. It can be comparable to arguing with a teenager. Parents, you can back me up on this. Chances are, and I'm not trying to claim it that all teenagers are bad, chances are you go to ask them about something. Say, ooh, a pair of pants goes missing. You go to ask them because, you know, logic gets mixed up and blah, blah, blah. Maybe they weren't paying attention. You may not even mean to come off rude. But they'll think, oh, my God, are you accusing me of stealing? Oh, wow. There was probably couple of instances. There's a couple of instances that just popped up in my head where I came across like that yes. when I was a kid. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> anyway, but the point still remains. Perhaps maybe we come across or we get, we're just in a bad mood and we automatically flip the defense mode. Well, we need a lot more of well, first off, guys, I don't care who the fuck you are. I don't care if you're some wannabe athlete or you think you're a big, bad son of a bitch. Don't use a woman like that. Any woman. And I, unfortunately, you have to say that nowadays because... Fuck, nowadays, you go to take a five-year-old in for freaking stomach cramps, the hospital has to run pregnancy tests. 
because of how fucked up in the head some of these people are. People that you would think would end up, should end up on Maury Povich one of these days. And unfortunately, I actually had a, a jackass from my past end up on Maury not too long ago. That's the reason why I say that. It just seems like people's priorities are really, really getting twisted here. Nobody's actually trying to understand that the fact that things are different. And the reason why this thing popped up in my head, and I try to make it more relevant to current events, but the reason why I popped up in this head is because I was recently out staying at a relative's, just dog sitting and watched the film Extinction on Netflix. Spoiler alert! Which it basically talks about, it's promoted as an alien invasion, but further on into the movie, it is revealed that the so-called humans being invaded are actually advanced forms of artificially intelligent beings. They're essentially cyborgs. And the aliens are humans who, or descendants of humans who took off and settled a colony on Mars to take Earth back. And it's revealed through the flashbacks in the film Sorry, I'm twisting my words here. That it was caused by people preaching genocide because these things were different, because they can perform better, that we were intimidated by them. The film even compares, and there's been a lot of franchises that exploit this concept that, say, like the X Men franchise, Deadpool 2 really dug into it. But the X Men franchise, as all together, getting. Intimidated by people who are different. Because it maybe in a way it can use those differences to potentially hurt us. And yes, that possibility is there. But still, they didn't choose that to be different. So why do we choose to be angry at them about something they can't control? So I just don't I don't know anymore. And if I have ever done anything to make anybody uncomfortable, if I made it, any of you ladies uncomfortable, or if I said something that may have come across as racist or anything like that, I'm going to say this. I apologize. I know I'm not perfect. And I don't intentionally try to say anything like that, but I'm human. I make mistakes. I'll admit it. What we need to do more of is try to simply understand what's going on. And when it comes to, like, robots, there's always that fear. You know, robots taking over. Robots are going to take my job and blah, 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 blah. First off, if you're worried about a machine taking your job, chances are you either need a career change or you need to step it up. Chances are, if you actually prove yourself as someone valuable, you can become irreplaceable. Places don't do that nowadays. So there's always that temptation to say, fuck you all and start your own business. But unfortunately, that doesn't always work out. I know. I'm trying to take that route myself. Basically try to take it before I have a wife and kids basically try to pull this off while the situation allows for myself to be the only one that gets affected if something goes wrong. That's what I'm trying to do. Try to build a life where I myself can be happy and could try to help people. But I'm getting sidetracked again. If we're really that intimidated by people being replaced or by something that's different. Now, granted, there's a lot of things that I myself don't understand. The people who feel that they were born the wrong gender, 
I don't get that. I don't harass them for it. It's their choice. They want to take it that far. That's up to them. The people who think they were born the wrong culture? Like, say, you were born USA, family from Western Europe, and you think you're from, feel like you should be from the Philippines? That doesn't really make sense to me. Unless you had, like, maybe some sort of ancestry that came from the region. I don't know. Nevertheless. I'm not going to waste my time bashing on those people because there's bigger problems in the fucking world. So anyway, running out of time on this show. I'm hoping you all enjoy. Be sure to check out my website, dakotafranson.com. But like I said, that might be glitching out due to the fact that I'm making some transitions so I can actually keep functioning going to be opening up an Amazon store here soon. That's going to be fun. You can check me out on Psychics Live. Be sure to watch my social media pages for updates. It's set up to let you know when I go live. Catch me on Instagram, Snapchat, <clears throat> Facebook, YouTube, whatever you can find us. So Google my name. You'll probably find something. <laughs> but nevertheless, to go back to the point of this episode, We're all different, and we all got some fucked up backstories. Let's not try to be assholes about it to one another, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to call it a night. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Give me your thoughts, even if my kibosh me. Opinions are always open. Be sure to catch you next week. Same time, same place. Love you all. Have a good one.